<laughs> now I know how to deal with women, so let me show you. Let me show you. Now I'm gonna play the game not for memes or pick dumb choice. I'm gonna pick women, pick the choices based on what I know will get the women. Let's see here, if I see a girl, uh, good, it's not timer, good. Approach directly in front, pretend to be blind. No, that's not gonna work. Wolf whistle, that's not what women want. Yo, what up, girl? Walking up to her, that's definitely not gonna work. Walk next to her. Uh, approach slightly in front to the side. <laughs> Yo, what up, girl? Definitely not. Approach directly in front. I'm not sure what that means. What do you mean approach directly in front? Walking next to her. Approach directly in front and to the side. I think it's this one. Hey, excuse me. Just want to ask you something really I'm busy. quick. That failed because you gave, you made it too easy for her to just walk past you and brush you off too close to the side. It means that she will likely do that as a reflex like 90% of the time. That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. Nice, boys. Good. We got it. So I was right. I was right. I just saw you and wanted to let you know you look very elegant. Mm -hmm. No, that's not going to work. Hey, do you have a minute? No, that's not going to work. She's going to be like, no, this guy's going to be selling something. Hey, I don't know you from one of my yoga classes. That might be good. We, didn't we go to Boston College? I think you're really beautiful. I like, I'd love to go down on you right now. <laughs> no, it should probably be this one. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure I've seen you in my yoga class. Do you go there? No, I don't do yoga. You don't? No. Not at all? We should try. You fucking bitch. Not the best way to start because she can just say no and brush you off. <laughs> okay, just let me try this one. Let me just try it. So I just saw you and I'd really love to go down on you. What do you say? you, asswipe. <laughs> no, I wouldn't pick that one. <laughs> I just need to see. Don't be sexual until you know that she would be open to it, which is never going to be in the first few seconds, especially in the <laughs> daytime when she's probably just going to buy a coffee or on her lunch break. <laughs> okay, let me pick the one that's right then. I'm glad that Jesus came back to tell us how to get our dicks wet, Admiral. <laughs> Feels good. I just saw you, I wanted to look, you look very elegant. So it's basically a compliment. Uh, then we go to the same college. She's just gonna be fuck off, this one. Hey, excuse me. Can I tell you something really quickly? Sure. I just saw you and wanted to let you know that you look really elegant. I uh, love that skirt as well, it's really summery. <laughs> Thank you. This is good because you've given her a nice Please compliment, clap. it's direct, it's made her smile and it's made her feel like speaking to you. So it's, it's a nice confident way to start in Please the street. clap, boys. So what's your plans for today? I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? Feed squirrels? Yeah. And ducks? Or was Squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, uh, little guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. What do you of. feed them? Like hot dogs? <laughs> no. Um, almonds? <laughs> almonds? Yeah. That's their favourite, is it? It seems to be. That's nice. Well, they're really cute, aren't they? They yeah, are very cute. You yeah, like animals? Fun. I do. Mm, nice. Yes. That mm. sounds fun, actually. I never thought of that. But buy some almonds, go feed the squirrels. You should try it sometime. Okay. And what are you doing today? Nice, nice. Ask her questions to get her to do most of the talking. You're just so beautiful. Would you mind if I kiss you right now? Well, that's obviously not going to work. 
you do most of the talking. No, I mean, she should talk, obviously. I mean, that's how women want. She should do the most Do talking. you live local around here somewhere? <laughs> yeah. That's nice. And do you spend a lot of time in this area? 101 um, I do, yeah. There's a nice coffee shop just down there. Have you been there? Please. I have, um, but I'm going to meet a friend actually, so I need to go. Okay, what's her name? Is it a he or a she, actually? In the beginning, the girl actually shouldn't do most of the talking, so you don't want to ask a bunch of questions. You want to make statements and do most of the talking yourself. A fucking bitch. Yeah, I was just walking, there's a nice park down there, and then I'm going to meet some friends, but I've got like 40 minutes, and that's why when I saw you, and I thought you looked friendly, so that's why I came over and said hi. Okay. In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so yes, that she has a chance that. to relax, get comfortable talking to you, uh, snap out of the mindset that she was in, thinking about what she's doing and where she's going. So that's the right one. We might hire some Half bikes and go riding around the up. park. There's like a nice spot where they rent out bikes and it's on the lake. And yeah, whatever. but you, so. you ride bikes in there? Well, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we do, like the penny farthing and the, the suit on, okay. and sitting really up, up straight. That's very no, fancy I'm, for bikes. I'll, I will change. I will okay. Yeah. Alright, uh, start touching yourself to get her turned on. Uh, <laughs> I just gotta see this one. I like squirrels. Yeah? Yeah, and I like nuts. I like uh, cashews. Oh my god, what? <laughs> what? Oh, fucking pervert. You like nuts, you said. <laughs> if you like touching yourself, great. But make sure you do it in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> okay, let me take the serious answer now. I think what she does for a living, but she looks autistic. Autistic. <laughs> Use uh, checking out her earrings as an excuse to touch her. Absolutely not. Not this early. Find an excuse to take off her of your shirt. No, absolutely not. Ask what hairstyle she thinks uh, would be good for you. No, it's this one. And tell me, what do you do? Because you, you look a bit artistic. <laughs> um, well, I actually work in non-profit. Non-profit? Charity, yeah. Ah, I like making profit, so that's... What no, do I'm you joking, do? I'm joking, I'm <laughs> joking. I work in IT, but... Okay. No, that's cool. So you're not so focused on money, you like doing good things. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks. I'm focused on uh, money. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Because yeah. IT can be creative too, so... Sure, yeah. yeah. Got it. Asking what someone does is that kind of usual question that we always ask, but in this case you want to make a guess, make an assumption, it makes it a little bit more interesting, and if you choose something to do with fashion or art, it's always a compliment for a woman because it kind of says that she has style. That is women. Are you single too early? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Ask her name, then say it's your name too. Uh, that is a mega cringe. Look up her skirt. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll try this one first, because that's just too funny. Well, hey, you've got something on your foot there. Let me just get it. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> True gentleman. Growing in. <laughs> okay, let me take the real one Just now. let her know you are keen for the barracuda. Two in the pink and one in the stink. Jesus Christ. Introduce yourself. It's B or C, but like saying I have the same name would be lying and that's not a good start, so. My name is Richard, by the way. Hey, nice to meet you. And your name? Alexa. <laughs> it's good that you have a name. I was just waiting for it a while, but it's good that you have one. <laughs> Thanks. Ease. Rather than just asking her name, you can always introduce yourself. It's a little bit different to what most guys do, and it's a positive difference. Ease. What kind of things do you like to do in your free time? Mm, I actually don't have a lot of free time. I work, well, a, I work a lot, so when I'm not working, I like to be outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I actually bike where you mentioned. Um, okay. Yeah, I just try to be outdoors. So you're one of these active people that's always doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to stay you. sitting down. Yeah. Not couch potato. Well, every now and then, but in general, no, more active than okay. down. I'm kind of semi-active. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I do some active stuff, but actually I prefer it when, you know, someone else plans everything and they like come to this and I always say yes. Okay. But given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling. Carmelaroni, thank you, Zabin. All right. Uh, can I have your phone number too early? Listen, I need to meet some friends, but I'd like to uh, see you again. What's your number? 
Sell her one of your hobbies. I love how casual you look. I hate girls that always try to look their best. Hmm. That's absolutely wrong. Listen, I need to meet... Maybe... Nah. I think it's D. Or is that an insult? Is that an insult? The way she's been so far, she is casual, so... Let's see. You know, I really love how you just dress really casual and you don't, you don't, you know, some girls like make loads of effort. So it's good that you don't yeah, really oh care about God. how you look. Well, it's kind of a it's refreshing. weird thing to say. It, I didn't mean to say it like well, that. Just what comes to mind, you know? Hmm. Well, you go have fun with your friends. It was well, kind of nice mean? meeting you. I was giving you a compliment. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Now, he said it wrong. There's basically no time when you would ever need to say something like this. It's a neg, you know, it's making her feel bad. And in the case where the girl seems very nice and bubbly and friendly and chatty and whatever, definitely never need to use it. She's very bitchy and tough. You could think about it. But even in those cases, it's usually better bitchy. to tease her playfully than to say something straight rude. <laughs> Growing dude. In. That's not what it read, dude. OG versus liquid patch on. Shut up. I love how casual you look. Okay, that was pretty bad. I mean B, probably. Okay, listen, like I said, I'm meeting those friends, but mm. why don't you give me your number and we can um, keep in touch, maybe yeah, meet sometime. sure, sure. Oh, she, she's giving me a fake number. Okay. Cool. That's fun. <laughs> Have fun. You too, see ya. <laughs> Well done, you got a fake number. Mm, not good enough. Dude, fine. Have you ever tried climbing? <laughs> you know, like on these walls. <laughs> I've heard of it. Um, I've always wanted to, but I haven't yet. You know, it's very cool. We've got some place that we go to. I've only been like four times, but it's really fun. Very good exercise and just really cool. So you should definitely try it. Yeah, I would like to. Nice. When you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about something, and a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why Nature don't you see if you can go out and sell someone on it, make it yeah. so that they're smiling like, yeah, I'd like to do that, that sounds yeah. great. So yeah. it's, it's video the games. right option in this um, case. I, 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 okay, like so you girl? said you like biking and rock climbing. Yeah. Um, any other like outdoor activities? Yeah, loads of stuff. Yeah. Um, racket sports. Like tennis? Um, yeah, tennis and also squash. You know what squash is? <laughs> it's the English thing. I don't know. I about mean, most it, sports no. were invented in England, obviously, but I think they play it everywhere. It's um, it's like when you're you're usually inside and you've got a wall like in front to the sides and in the back, and you okay. can hit the ball like anywhere. And it, I think it's the best exercise. You're constantly running and yeah, yeah. it sounds it's very cool. Kind of dangerous, but fun. Ah, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> the ball is only um, like that big. So even if it hits you, it's not too bad. Okay. You and can smash each other with, with a racket, but <laughs> rarely happens. Hmm. You and should try it. I might sometime. Uh, you said you work in IT? Uh, Bjorks, 9788. Thank you, been. Ask her if she's ever been split put by TI Winner. I would like to go on a putting date. I don't think that works. Say you're an ass model and then try to touch her ass. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start with that one for the memes. So this one doesn't count. Yeah, I work in IT, but I'm also an ass model. Look, check oh, it out. Oh, come on. Look at that, what do you think? It's nice. Good, yeah? Sure. Have a touch. No, no, no. Put your hand on no. it, it's fine. Don't be shy, come on. I'd rather not. You can, really, it's okay. No. Look, I can touch you, you can oh touch me. Oh my god, me. no, you can't. Ooh. No, you can't. But I could get your job. <laughs> Women. This was going okay until you tried to touch her. You know, a girl is not ready at that time for that kind of sexuality. And you can't really get anywhere by rushing that fast. <laughs> All right, let me get the right one now. Uh, I'm a programmer and be passionate about it. Programmer and that it's really boring and you don't like it much. Programmer, but switch to talking about life philosophy. Say to your model scout, uh, it's either B or D. Passionate was good. But it's boring. Programmer is boring. Like she has no interest in that, so I'm gonna to switch to the topic. Yeah, I work in IT, but I wouldn't say that it's my passion. I think that in life it's important, you know, earning money is one thing, but really what's important is, you know, your social connections nice. with other people, friends, family, developing yourself. So 
because there are so many important things that we forget about and the career really is just a small part of life, right? Yeah, absolutely. You agree? Got yeah, her. I do. If you really hate the question, what do you do, because your job's really boring, then it's very easy to say, you know, I do this, but that's not important, and talk about something that you're really passionate about, something that you really care about, something that's really interesting to you. The key is not to kill the conversation by saying something that is just boring and shows that you don't have anything going on in your life. So turn it around and do this if you don't like your job. Oh, yeah, that girl. So yeah. do you always stop girls in the street? <laughs> Actually, yeah, quite often, no. No, of course not. Never. No, not often. But but when I like uh, the look of someone and I'm single, why not? Nope. Only if they like look like they are dying to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take the meme answer first. Well, you know what? There's a special quality I look for, and I would only stop girls if they have that exact thing. So okay. it's quite you know something special going on. Do you want to know what it is? The quality? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> well, it's just when the girl just looks like she's dying to be fucked. And basically... Excuse me? Yeah, like she's just ready to bang right no, there and then. No, that's vulgar. That's oh, really vulgar. Vulgar? Yes. No? Yeah. <laughs> that's totally cool in the game, but in real life, I must tell you that you shouldn't even swear at girls, never mind getting sexual. As a man, you have a responsibility <laughs> to treat women with respect and always make sure that they feel better after the interaction with you than they did before. No matter how rude they are, they've got a right to be rude. And if they're not rude, then even more reason to be polite and make them feel good. All right, let me take the right answer then. Actually, yeah, quite often. No, of course not, never. Not too often, but uh, when I look for someone and I'm single, why not? No, that's, that's pushing it a little bit too much. Uh, if I say this one, it depends if it says like, no, of course not ever, but you, you really stood out. I mean, that should be the right one, right? This should be the right one. If he says that, cause this doesn't make you feel special. So it's this one. Oh, stop girls. No, no. Probably when was the last time? Maybe I've never even done it. Really? Yeah. I just saw you and it just came to me. It's not something <laughs> I, I do at all. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Easy. This is the usual reflex response, but it's actually wrong because it's just dishonest and she knows that. Fucking asshole. No, it was right. I got it. Dude, it was right, dude. Listen, in a few minutes, we we'll got a cup of coffee. Uh, listen, I need to meet some friends, but I would like to see you again. What's your number? You know, I live near here and have an apartment all to myself. No, no. Give her your number. She was going to go meet her friend, so that's a little bit early. She's not going to give me a fake number now. She likes me. Listen, I need to meet some friends, but why don't you give me your number and we'll keep in touch and yeah. find the time to meet. Sure, that'd be great. Dude. You did pretty well. You didn't get the very best result, which meant that you made a Those few decisions that weren't quite ideal, but you really did enough to get the result and advice. see the go again. You got the number, so well done. We did it, boys. Result Casanova. That's uh, correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. Mm -hmm. This is good because you've given her a nice compliment, it's direct, it's made her smile and it's made her feel like speaking to nice. you. So it's, it's a nice confident way to start Please in the street. Trip. In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so that she has a chance to relax, get comfortable talking to you, uh, snap Cast out of voice. the mindset that she was in, thinking about what she's doing and where she's going. So that's the right one. Asking what someone does is that kind of usual question that we always ask, but yes. in this case, you want to make a guess, make an assumption. It makes it a little bit more interesting. And if you choose something to do with fashion or art, it's always a compliment for a woman because it kind of says that she has style. Rather than just asking her name, you can always introduce yourself. It's a little bit different to what most guys skip. do. And it's yes, a positive You don't skip difference. this. When you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about something and a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why don't you see if you can 
go out and sell someone on it, make it so that they're smiling like, yeah, I'd like to do that. That sounds great. So it's, it's the right option in this case. All right options so far. If you really hate the question, what do you do? Because your job's really boring, then yep. it's very easy I to knew say, that. you know, I do this, but that's not important. And talk about something that you're really passionate about, something that you really care about, something that's really notes, interesting plebs, to you. you can learn. The key is not to kill the conversation by saying something that is just boring and shows that you the don't have anything wrong, going on in your life. Why. So turn it around and do this if you don't like your job. So I got to ban someone. There you go. This is the usual reflex response, but it's actually wrong because it's just dishonest and she knows that. Oh. You did pretty well. You didn't get the very best result, which meant that you made a few decisions that weren't quite ideal, but you did enough to get the result and see the go again. You I got only the made one so wrong well done. decision, boys. One wrong decision. Casanova, by the way, next level. Jesus. Lady. How will you break the ice? Okay, so I go a lot of pubs. So I know how to break the ice. So let me see. Ask them if they're talking about you. If they say no, then ask why not. Absolutely not. Say you recognize her from school. Absolutely not. Ask them if they know what you like in a girl. Wait, wait, ask if ask them if they know what you like in a girl. Then answer being your dick. Stuff that creep up on them from being behind the sofa. <laughs> Ask them to help you choose a person for your friend. That's the right one. Absolutely right one. Uh... <laughs> so how do you have this place? <laughs> this place? Why not? <laughs> you just got here, you know? Let's just give it a chance that we'll have a drink and see who's here. Hey, Get girls. out of me! How's it going, girls? Get out! <laughs> uh, Don't be creepy, it's just not a good one. I know, dude. Let me see this one. <laughs> I gotta see this one as well. This guy who went out the other day called you back? No. Oh, yeah, what up, girls? He's fine. Hey. Um, hey, hey. I, I like you him. You too. Hey. Listen. Uh, do you know what I really, really like in a girl? Surprise me. My dick. Oh. Surprise! Oh, <laughs> surprise. How Happy surprise! How smart. Does it work? Does it work? Yeah. It works very well. Don't need, don't need anything. <laughs> it's ready now to work. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna prove? Prove it. Yeah. yeah Show us how it works. Okay, what's it? Check this out. Look. Sure. You ready for a big surprise? Oh, <laughs> the big one. Whoop. Check it out. Not so big, sorry. Oh. What? Who is this guy? It's full of you. I don't know. They're big Richie and stuff. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I never but wanted to hurt your feelings, you I know? Can, um, I work it as well, yeah. <laughs> no, we're fine, really. Thank you. Fucked up my confidence, to be honest. You were did, sorry, you were... I didn't mean that, but... <laughs> Bad. Right, well, this is shit anyway. Thank you for ruining my whole life. <laughs> no problem, anytime. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was fun at least. Mm -hmm. The first funny guy in this place. So that's exactly what you should do. No, it's not. Please never do anything like that. Um, don't send dick pics. Don't talk about your dick. Yes. Okay, so let me take the right one now. Why were they so mean? Like, she's a bitch. I don't want to want to fuck her now. I mean, be her friend. Learn, get to know her. Scrabated, thank you, Zabin. Two for baguette, thank you, 350 bits. And Walter Jr. Fudge you, thank you, Zabin. Uh, let's see here. Ask them if you are talking about you. Uh, this one. Uh, hey, can, can you help me get a friend? Her hey, girls. Yeah, Sorry, please. excuse me. Can okay. you help me with something really quickly? Uh, yes. Okay. okay, good. Right, what it is, is um, tomorrow's my best friend's birthday, uh -huh. and she's a girl, and she looks kind of similar to you, you know, kind of stylish and stuff. And I want it, she loves fashion, so I want to get her okay. something, you know, like something to do, like jewelry or clothes, stuff. You, you know. want to buy her a present? Yeah, yeah, yeah I okay. want to get her a present. She's, yes. just, she's just a friend, yeah. but I want to get her something really cool. She's a good friend. What do you think? Um, maybe you can give her a 
coupon, like a gift card to mm -hmm. the some store. I don't like know. Zara or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah like Zara, I don't yeah. know. Depends on I'm what she likes. Cuts, boys. Yeah, she likes clothes and stuff. Yeah, so maybe the gift card would work for her. This is the kind of PUA opinion opener. Um, it's very good in that it will often get you into a conversation. So it's a good choice here. Um, it's pretty much guaranteed to work. So if you have something like this for real, or if you want to use the one in this uh, clip, then it will actually work in the bars. Good choice. Nice. Uh, thank you for the advice and ask their names. Get a little deeper into the subject. No, they clearly didn't give good advice. They didn't give me good advice. Like hey, a gift card broke back. No, we're going to go this one. Oh, that's great advice. Thank you very much. No problem. I think she'll like that. Yeah. So my name's Richard, by the way. Anastasia. Nice to meet you. Oh, that's a nice name. Oh, that's a good name too. I'm Richard. <laughs> that's a nice name. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was a like old English name from oh, yeah? Kings and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh wow, you got cringy. That's correct because you know I've trained guys all over the world and I see them getting into these kind of present openers, opinion openers, and staying on that subject for five minutes until it dies out, and then they have He's to get out clapped. out of there. So it's very important to transition quickly, and a nice way to do it is just to introduce yourself and get their names. Got it, boys. So how do you know each other? Uh, from school. From school? Yeah, ah, like well, university. When you were, ah, yeah, university. College. Not school, like five no, years no, no, old. No, 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 no. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you were in the same class or something, yeah? Uh, no, we studied different classes. Okay, let me guess. So I <laughs> think that you studied fashion <laughs> and I think you studied drama. Is that exactly right? No, opposite. No? The opposite? So oh, you opposite. studied fashion and she studied no. drama. <laughs> Yeah. I studied economics. Uh -huh. Yeah, I studied business. Okay. Yeah, so it no, has nothing nothing to do with drama and fashion. Not really. Not really. Yo, can the brunette shut the fuck up? I, I want the blonde one, so please. Related to the business between her legs. Compliment her on choosing tough subjects. Go into details talking uh, to the girl you like. Ask about her favorite modules accuse them of being materialistic suggest the world would be better without money transition to singing <laughs> say that it's cute and easier than real major like math and science <laughs> oh, what's up with a meme one business oh that's so yeah. disappointing don't you Why? think we should live in a world like where money's not important and everyone just helps each other and it's nice and shares. And what are you talking about? Yeah, why are we wasting money? This bloody dress and oh, I'm gonna do my bloody? hair. It's alright. Hair straighteners. You're wearing the suit as well. This is from a charity shop. So, do, do you think you got this for free? This drink, I mean? I know I got it for free. It was just sitting on the bar. Someone, what? someone just drank some and left. Uh, because you okay, shouldn't you don't waste. Even know what's in here. That's rule number fifty-two. Do not waste things like your dinner. You know, you leave it and it goes <laughs> in the you trash. You don't know or... what's in there. It tastes like whiskey coke. Yeah, it smells but like whiskey coke. Poison you. But why would they do that? Come on. I don't know. Don't ask me. I have no idea. Anyway, look, it's all about the philosophy of it, and I think um, John Lennon had the right idea. <laughs> Imagine all the people oh. living happy without money. Women snickering. Oh, Imagine all the <laughs> people. So. Blonde girl in blue dress with guy called Richard. <laughs> no. Imagine no. all the people <laughs> don't right. need money, just no. need love. Okay, stop singing. You're brilliant singer. No, no, I was just yeah, wonderful. Say something <laughs> opposite. Oh, tell me, be honest. That's my other principle, you're number forty-seven. Not John Lennon at all, you know. When you're not your co-owner, but we make what we can with life, you know. <laughs> well, I'm satisfied with myself, you know. I'm fine. We can go to Japan. We can try. <laughs> Why don't we go to Japan? You know how much it really. costs. Yeah. And they cost money. Fuck, don't they? Yeah. So maybe you should just go do some stuff to make some money, and then come up to the girls. Also, money make works. I, I need yeah. money, mm -hmm. don't I? John Lennon had money. Mm. Yo, yeah. Guys, it keep donating right. to my chat. Keep donating like right now. I need it. You don't have money. You mm. can't afford the light. Keep donating money, you? boys. Please, no, you can't. So. Miguel, thank you. Seven. You cheaper? No, <laughs> that's Same rude. Price. 
Maybe Mara. buy one get one free. Leave. Oh, All right, girls. Look, Aww. um. Okay. Well, look, it was lovely to speak to you. Yeah, maybe, lovely. maybe see you at karaoke or something. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay, you saw that example, but now go back and try and make the right. Choice. All right, let me do the right choice now. Wait, maybe we'll see a good one again. So relate to, to the business between her. Okay, let me do. I need to do this one. Sorry. It's cool that you girls did uh, business stuff. You know, I had a wise, very, very wise Brazilian jiu-jitsu teacher. You know, it's like this martial yeah, yeah, arts. Yeah. And he told me, he says, "Listen, Richard, I met many women, and every woman she has business between her legs, and she just need to use it." Uh. So is that, uh, <laughs> so how do you apply your business that's learning so to? Rude, you know? It's kind of true, right? Like if a girl no. wants something, uh, I want a drink tonight. So here, I'll show you some. Of course not. Tonight I want we a free dinner. We can buy our drinks ourselves. We don't need anyone. Really? Yeah. Oh come on! You bought these? Yes. Come off it! You need to use the business between your legs. <laughs> Hanato, he told me. Happy told six me years. This. Very wise uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy. I don't know. Maybe it works in Brazil. It works everywhere, babe. I don't know. I haven't checked. And what about you? You use it? No. No? No. no. Let's go. Oh, you're holding yeah, hands. That's so go. sweet. Yeah. I like that. Really? Yeah. Can I hold your hand? No. Oh. Okay. Although this I is... know it's wrong. Okay, let me take the right one now. Compliment her choosing uh, tough subjects. That's kind of a little bit insulting. So I don't think that's right. Going to do this, uh, talking to the girl you like. Ask about her favorite modules. What? Say that it's cute and easier than a real. <laughs> okay, then. Fitness. God, that's a bit, a bit lame, isn't it? <laughs> easy. Can you choose something hard? Maths, science. Do you think business is easy? Yeah, man. Why? Easy. <laughs> to run a business is kind of a deal, you oh, know? Oh, to run a business? Yeah. So you run a business? Not yet, but I'm going to. Not, That's yeah. why I'm studying the business. Well, listen to this. I'm going to fly to the moon. I'm going to fly to Mars. I'm going to be the heavyweight champion of the world in boxing. Okay, I'm so I'm happy for you. I'm going to win an Olympic gold medal. Like, <laughs> you have a huge blah, ego. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no, it's not blah, blah, blah. What's I'm your really going to be? Come on, I've got a head. I want to open a flower shop. A flower shop? <laughs> <laughs> What was a flower shop? Oh, I'm a girl. I like flowers. What should I do? Dude, it's flower shop. <laughs> and let me guess, she's gonna have a beauty salon. Uh, I like doing my nails. Uh, what's wrong with that? Beauty salon? No? It's it's just a manners. What's your flower shop gonna be called? I'm not gonna tell you. I don't want to see you. This is my genius. Customers. You two geniuses are just amazing. <laughs> yeah. Go away. Yeah. Go away. Yeah. All right. Nice. I'll see you in your flower shop in the yeah. future. Yeah. <laughs> Come to your so nail you salon. To you need to I'm sure you'll be. Uh -huh. I'm sure you'll have a big successful business. Yes. Not. We're gonna have. <laughs> Not. This is quite harsh and mean. Uh, please, everyone, don't uh, to bowling. He needs money to get grill. So they don't leave him, crap. <laughs> Please help me. All right, let me take the right one now. Uh, compliment her on choosing tough subjects. Go into details talking about uh, to the girl you like. Ask her about her, her favorite modules. What the hell does that even mean? Yes, I'm going to compliment on tough subject because that's the right one. I'll, I'll empower her. Make her feel smart, even though she's not. I like that, you know, because a lot of people, they do like, I don't know, some simple, easy subject, but doing business is, is really nice. I like it. Yeah, but it's kind of a common thing to do in here. Yeah? I think so. What? So you think a lot of girls in this bar study business? No. I don't think so. I think, I think they study <laughs> no. Instagram. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Wait, did you do well at university? You got good grades? Uh, yeah, it was fine. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. Well done. <laughs> Yes. You'll notice that in the interactions, we want to balance validation, you know, saying well done, making the girl feel good with things that are teasy or challenging. And in this case, it's something that they've worked hard on. It's an achievement. So why not say well done, you know, and give them some validation there for that. So how long have you guys known each other? For so long. Yeah, yeah. 40, yes. 42 years? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 You look very young. Oh, joking. thank you. <laughs> Relief. And you know what? I would guess that she's like the crazy one, yeah? And I think you're the sensible one. So she's getting drunk and you're like, look, chill, come on, let me get you home. Is that right? Uh, 
A little bit. Yeah, yeah, sometimes, it depends. Yeah. You know, it depends. Don't be shy. <laughs> she can go crazy. And she's the shy one as well. That's cool. Yeah, she is. <laughs> nice. And who's the one who likes um, who gives good advice? Then name Out Richard has a funny nickname. Oh, who's the one who has problems and then who's the one that gives advice? Uh, we're girls, we always have problems. Of course, yeah. <laughs> we're boys, but I think she's more... Yeah? Yeah. Oh, Alright, cool. Maybe, I don't know. I would say we're equal, kind of. Mm -hmm. Dude, can a blonde leave, please? The name of Richard is a funny nickname. Bulldog, you kicked yeah, me from the dick. Discord pet I hands. What? I had a 500 plus day streak going. Now I'm a new fag peppy hands. For this crime against me, I will kill Kuz. He lives 100 miles from me. <laughs> and your chances at going to well, you TI broke the rules, 8 bit. I told the rules very specifically about a certain channel. And you broke the rules. I, you broke the rules, 8 bit. You got you to gotta take the punishment. All right, let me see here. Do the best friends test on them. Ask which one of them is the leader. That's bad. Look at the girl if uh, you're interested in and tell her she has the most beautiful eyes. That's kind of awkward. Ask your friends to leave you two alone <laughs> for a little bit. Yo, let me, do, let me do the D1. Let's see how he does this one. Listen, what's your name? Claire? No? Anna. Anna? Her name is Anna. Well, look, whatever. Claire, Anna, Margaret, it's whatever. It's or Charles. Deal. Doesn't matter. <laughs> look, listen, babe. Do you mind just leaving us for a second? Just going off because... I uh, mind. I really no. like your friend. And I mind. Maybe. No? Wait, look. I'll get to you in a minute. Listen, just leave us for a second, please. <laughs> Excuse me? It's not, you know, three's <laughs> a crowd. No, no, Two of us, Can you three. leave us? And we'll no, no. Well, you. how about we play a game? You leave first. No. And then I stay with your friend. No. And then you don't come back. You know, that's, you like that? <laughs> that's another. You leave. That's now. Yeah, now. Like right I'm now. I'm confused. Do you want to leave with me? No, I want you to leave. Us. With you? With no, her? No, no. Alone. I or maybe you're going to find another girl in here. Of course I would. That's yeah, so that's just go doubt. for it. Just go for it and let us continue our mm. conversation. But to be honest, you just look more sexy than them. Uh, I know. <laughs> All right, maybe. It's good. So, no, no, but I'm leaving you for the rest of the girls. It's very generous. <laughs> They'll be happy, I'll tell them. Okay. I'll tell them that I was like, I would like you, and you were like, no, you should go to the other girls because you're so cool. And uh -huh. they, they need you. Yeah, and it's getting pretty crazy. Okay, but remember that. I know, I know, dude. So let me take the real one. It's definitely not this one. Do the best friend test on him. That could be kind <laughs> of cool. Look at the girl you're interested in telling. No, this guy this has one. some 10 tenths dad jokes. Is that how you get grills? <laughs> I know how to get grills because it's this one. And have you two ever done the best friends test? Have you done it? Um, no. no. All right, let's do it right now. You ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, what shampoo do you use? Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, you don't even need to tell me. You've already passed the best friends test because best friends they communicate unconsciously. So when you ask people, oh. yeah, <laughs> if people are very good, you just did it, it again. <laughs> so if people are really good friends, they always kind of look and then you know give the answer uh, if someone okay. asks them something. And yes. if you weren't good friends, you just answer directly. But it's like you're communicating oh. something. Yeah, there you go. There you go again. Because <laughs> just by the, way, the look in the eyes, you communicate so much when you know I each other very well. I've never paid attention on this. Oh, yeah, pay attention. Oh, yeah. It's definitely true. Maybe I would do this kind of test. Yeah, try it. <laughs> mm. There you go again. Yeah. <laughs> stop counting. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> Eat, this will on. work. It's a you know, famous PUA routine. If you learn it, it's something you can go out and use in the bars and clubs. I've seen it work all over the world. And so you can do it. It's just a routine. So it's a bit, you know, it's a bit lame um, in some ways to have something prepared. But if you want to guarantee having conversations with girls, then learning a few of these things is a nice way to get your social skills up and get comfortable talking to beautiful women because they are very engaging. So what were you doing before you came here? We went for dinner. Ah, uh, dinner, nice. Where'd you go? Yeah, like burgers and fries. Really? I can tell because you're fat. Tell them what you did. Be playful about how it's a little incongruent. I know what that means. 
say that, yeah, you don't have to uh, try to watch your figure either. Tell them that you are a vegan and try to convert them. Uh, say that it's bad in one way, but good in the in that she'll put anything in her mouth. Fast <laughs> food. Well, you know what? That's kind of bad in one way because it's like unhealthy and whatever. But good in another way because it means you'd put anything in your mouth. Huh? <laughs> so, for example, wait, Excuse me? wait, bear with me a second. So, for example, you could, you know, eat a few burgers with ketchup and fries. You could eat a few chicken nuggets, or you could have eight dicks with extra juice, <laughs> or you could what? have a pizza. You know, are basically you anything. Yeah, saying that? yeah, because some girls are fussy. Like, oh, no, I won't do that. And then you're do like, do you think hmm, we are this kind of girls? Do I know that you're? Yes. What makes you think so? McDonald's. <laughs> Extra jizz, whatever, it's fine. Catch up, it's all the same, right? Uh, <laughs> that was rude, you know. Thanks, you babe. Well, I'm that kind of guy, you know. No. You like it, right? No, I no, can tell you nasty. like it. You're smiling, I like it. you're smiling. Yeah, because I'm you're surprised. I wasn't expecting you. Imagine us naked, naked no. in bed eating a pizza. No, 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 yeah, you are, no, baby. I'm not. <laughs> you like it, doesn't she like it? No, I just uh, like it. Nightmare. Look, darling, how about this? I'll order a pizza right now to our house. We'll have about 32 minutes to get there. To our house? We have no house. We do now. You already you're, planned this? You're moving in with me. <laughs> no. Surprise. No. Surprise. No, 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 no. She's That's moving in with me. Oh, 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 chill. Alright? Chill. I like it when you talk to me like that and boss uh, me around. Okay. So sexy. Nah. So sexy when you look down there. So sexy when you look oh at me. Oh god, come on. So sexy on. when you turn away. You just get me tired. I'm so sick sexy of when you. you're tired. Sick of you so kind sexy of when you're twist. sick. So sexy when you say that. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> so sexy when you talk let's, to your let's, friend. Let's get out, you know? Uh, okay. Now this is something I... <laughs> uh, let's bring out the D. Ugh, you eat burgers. It's nasty. Because that's like processed meat. It's carcinogenic. What? So what? I don't love meat. You're killing the poor little animals. I'm not killing anyone. Well, you're eating it and they kill it for you to eat. Yeah, but it's already dead. It's dead because you wanted it to be dead because you ate it because you I don't want anything the to be dead. Look, I'm babe, just listen, eating. Listen, darling, look, you studied economics, right? Supply, demand. You you demanded they killed a load of animals and they supplied it by killing the animals, right? So think That's about that. That's awful thing you So saying. you're basically a killer and you too. You don't get off <laughs> sitting there thinking it's all about her. Don't you think you're killing the plants you're eating or what? <laughs> plants are growing. The plants they have soul maybe. I don't <laughs> no, know. Don't. The plants <laughs> drop the fruit soul. and I eat the fruit as nature intended. And what you're doing just destroying so the planet. So you also no, eating listen, the dead fruit. You're destroying the planet, <laughs> killing all the oh animals God, love, love. and making yeah, the world love, terrible. Love. I don't know. Another one. Got... Green peas stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I like green pieces. Yeah. Cool Lettuce. You. Cucumber. Happy for you. Yeah. But what do you think? You want to be a vegan with me? No. <laughs> Come tomorrow? To no. My, to my favorite no, vegan no. restaurant? No, thank you. No, I yes, like to sir. try new stuff, but no, no we hear them. What? Could have been worse, but people don't really like to be preached to, even if they know that you're right. <laughs> well, it worked? <laughs> Focus on the girl you like in our friend, give both equal attention. Give slightly more attention to the one you like. Yes, that's the right one. Perfect, because it's a tough balance, right? Because you like one of the girls, but you don't want the other one to get bored. So that's exactly what you want to do. You want to give more attention to the girl that you're more interested you in. Think I know this but make stuff? sure that the other one is happy and likes you, but that she also knows that that's the one that you like. So what do you chicas like to do in your spare time? How about you? <laughs> Anya? I like to dance. You're a dance? Oh, don't say that about yourself. Mm. What did you say? I like to dance. Ah, dancing. Yeah, yeah. nice. Okay. <laughs> what yeah. else? And um, I go to the gym a lot. All right, cool. And how about you? Oh, I have so many interests. Um, I watch movies. I'm crazy about TV shows. I'm like yeah. a freak. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Funny. Mm -hmm. And I also like love playing with my dog. Oh, good. Say you have a fish, no. Say you like dog fighting. <laughs> Uh, ask if uh, she means doing very inappropriate things with her dog. <laughs> Say that it's sweet and uh, people with pets are generally more caring. That's the right one, obviously. 
So you like dog fighting? Well, I don't have a dog, but I do yeah. love sports with dogs. Oh, like, okay, um, sports. have you seen this greyhound racing with the whippet dogs? Yeah, and you yeah, can bet on yeah, it. They're really yeah. fa- the fastest dogs, you know? Uh-huh. And what else? That? Oh, dog fighting. It's beautiful. What? Amazing. Dog you ever fighting? been to a dog fight? No, I'm not planning to. Oh, we've got to do it. What, what species is your dog? Like, what breed? Um, he's is... like a German. German Shepherd? Yeah, but oh, amazing. I, I rescued him from the street. Well, we can so rescue no. him and bring him to a dog fight. No, <laughs> no, I didn't bull. rescue him for that. You, you think know? he could be a pit bull, rip it up, or he mm, would stop? God, no. Oh, my God. You... I don't like this conversation. Can we just like end it, it up? End it? Yeah. Okay, you're going to go? No, you're going to go. <laughs> oh, no. What? You've marked your territory. You've done yes, a wee wee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so please God. go away. Well, what if I just piss all over the couch? Then it'll be my couch. <laughs> <laughs> no, just go somewhere else. Actually, to do I will. This. I wouldn't. That's disgusting. Yeah. Uh, please don't try this at home. Yeah, let me try this one as well. <laughs> and with your dog. No yeah. Way. I what, saw a video with th- I saw a video with exactly that title playing with my dog, and it was basically this girl. <laughs> maybe it w- no, it wasn't you, right? But she mm. was she was sitting down, and um, the dog was there, and mm. the dog really likes honey, so she That's put wow. some honey. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh gross! And That's then you can gross. guess what happens next. So this is what you like to do in no, your free time. No, of course not. I train my dog. Oh, you train it to do that stuff. <gasps> no! Well, you've got to make some videos. There's loads of money in this kind of Such shit now. Such a jerk! <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's a business opportunity. <laughs> oh my god. Yikes. Uh, let me take the right one. Even it's if it's what you were... 100% this one. But that's interesting actually, because I was reading uh, this thing like a... What was it? In general psychology or something. And okay. it said that um, people with pets, and especially dogs... And is it a boy or a girl? Or a, dog? a boy. Ah, perfect. It said that um, people with opposite sex pets, who uh-huh. really like them, and you said you did, um, it means they're really what? caring people in general in life. So, oh, Yeah, it's very interesting Maybe. actually. Yeah, that's interesting. Just the kind of idea that, you know, you meet someone and then if you find out they really like animals, they have a pet, yeah. it means they're, you know, you can trust them and they're probably huh. a good person. That's interesting. Cool, yeah. hey? Yeah. And is it true about her? Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Can the blonde shut up? I mean, whether you love animals or not, it doesn't matter. You have to understand that she does, right? So it's something that you shouldn't turn into a joke, be rude about, or you know, contradict. Why not say something positive about it? And there's an example that you can use all the time because a lot of girls love dogs or cats. Listen, can you He's tell her what? to just stop talking so much? She's just talking all the time. Is she always like that? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. What? She doesn't really say yeah. much. Yeah. Huh? But she's Hi. sweet. She seems very sweet. Yeah, she is. Dude, that was so awkward. Yeah. Sweet. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> what the hell are you saying? Oh my god. The fuck? What an idiot. Get physical by checking her muscles? Absolutely not. Ask where they see themselves in five years. Listen, girls, I've got a great question. Where do you see yourselves in five years? Oh, that's... That- like a boring interview question. Uh, like a job interview, right? Yeah, I feel like yeah. I'm in a job interview, yeah, not in a bar. That. They normally ask that. Okay, I've got a much better question. Uh, let me think. Where do you see yourself in seven years? Do you think that's the right place in time? Oh, <laughs> like this? Like the future? So? I guess not. Unless yeah. you want a job. You want a job with me? No. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Um, typical interview question, but as you see in an interaction with pretty girls, doesn't go. Oh. You girls are in pretty good shape, so I think you must do more than jogging. You do some sports. Well, sometimes I play squash, but cool. not as often as I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I play a little bit as well. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. That's great. What else? Anything else? Uh, I used to play basketball when I was in college, yeah. but yeah, it was a long time ago. And <laughs> hmm, that's cool as well. Yeah. You watch the NBA anymore. or you don't watch it? Uh, I used to, yeah, I was crazy about it, but yeah, I have my job now and I don't it's have plenty of time, woman. so mm-hmm. I don't watch it anymore All that right. often. Yeah. Let's see, show off, do the strawberry fields routine. I don't even know what that is. I'll do that. Because do you like psychology tests? Mm-hmm. Things um, like that. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, who yeah. doesn't? Come on. I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah. Have you done this one yeah, called Strawberry Field? Psychology test? 
No. Okay, have try no. try this right now with me, both of you, okay? okay? So maybe close your eyes, it will help. So close your eyes and you imagine you're walking in some beautiful place and then up ahead you see a field of strawberries. And tell me, um, there's a fence around it. How high is the fence? Just show me with your hands how high it is. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice one. All right. That's enough. And then yeah, you can put your hand down. And then uh, the next thing, so you go in there and you want to eat some strawberries. How many strawberries do you eat? That's stealing. What's though. your answer? I will eat as many as I can. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, how about you? Me too. Loads of strawberries. Yeah, okay. Of strawberries. Ah, but then you've eaten all the strawberries, you're leaving, and then the farmer comes mm -hmm. and he's like, you ate all my strawberries. <laughs> and then what do you say no. back to him? I would just say, I'm sorry. <laughs> what would you say? I was paying I'm back. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I was hungry. You're paying back? <laughs> okay. What are you talking all about? All right, you can open your eyes. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what it means, right? Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. So the first one, how high the fence is, that's your barrier to sex yeah like how open you are because strawberries represent passion and stuff okay. for a woman so yours was kind of here so it's like medium yours was really high like a huge fence so it means you know you're quite difficult to have sex with basically but anyway you don't have to answer if that's true or not but then the number of strawberries you eat is your sexual appetite okay so some girls maybe they say oh i always have like half a strawberry and then she's like a girl that doesn't like sex. And then go have a few strawberries. But you, yeah. what did you say? You ate every strawberry in the world. Oh, or something, yeah, like, so. okay. <laughs> all I wanted. Yeah. And then the final thing is what you say after sex. So when the farmer catches you. So what do you say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> you say, I'm hungry. Yeah, you're hungry after sex, right? Oh, I'll pay for oh, it. That's perfect. so Whoops. funny. Seems perfect I, to I'm me. sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I think that was dead on. I have said that. The <laughs> test win. Wow, you choose Whoa. to be. Stands for beta <laughs> if you can be bothered to learn well, this, well, it well. actually is another thing that works. Again, it's prepared, um, so it's not ideal. We don't want you to just learn a bunch of stuff and, and go out and repeat it. <laughs> but if you do find yourself in a boring situation, you know, a date that's not going so well, uh, talking to a girl and you think she's not that into you, why not have it ready? You know, it's quite interesting. And you can always just say it's a psychology test that you um, saw online, right? So what do you guys do? What about you, Anya? I have a fashion store. Oh ah, yes, <laughs> she had yeah. one. Nice. Um, <laughs> I don't work at the moment. Unemployed. Yeah, yeah. I'm here to learn how to pick up dumb bitch Kappa. <laughs> what? The hell are you saying? Uh, I and, and Paul think with Ted Dongers learning how to pick up girl IRL. Yeah, but I have to go outside as well, which I don't know if I I, I dare to do. You choose V B set for beta. You stupid. Uh, let me see here. Tell her to hire her friend to work for making clothes. No, no, that's 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 great awkwardness. Say it's great that she doesn't work and that you're jealous. Try to hook her up with a friend, uh, Karim, who can be her sugar dandy. <laughs> Karim. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're not working. Okay, I've got the perfect solution. Huh. I've got a friend, yeah? His name is Karim and he's he's a little bit old, you know, like but still okay. alive. Um and he's a little bit you know like Chubby's Chop being nice. So, but okay. Anyway, the main the good <laughs> thing, and this is very, very good, and it makes mm -hmm. up for everything, is that he's very, very rich. So and, what? Well, have you ever heard of the thing uh, sugar daddy? So he, yeah. Okay, perfect. So <laughs> I've heard about it, looking, but I'm not interested. Well, he's looking Thank for a girl you. just like you. No, no, no. And we're no, talking no. about three thousand no, dollars a month. No, I'm sorry. That's and, wait, even better. You just need to fucking like two no. times. No. Oh, whew, no. Check him no, out. Look. No, no. Let's let's there get is, out look. of here. I'm. Ah! Three thousand. Stop it. Yeah, no. three thousand dollars. No. <laughs> Only three thousand. You got to go like that. Yikes. It's just not polite, is it? <laughs> Uh, so that's great, and you're jealous that she gets all the free time. Well, I'm sometimes unemployed, but it's by choice. So for you, like, you're, you're looking for something, or you're just... Uh, yes, I'm looking for something suitable for me, but... What's your dream job? 
I want to open a flower shop. Oh, that's nice. Because when when you yeah. said I don't do anything, I just thought you were at home painting nails, nails, and <laughs> like getting some no, food. No. To, <laughs> and you buy your own drinks and stuff. So yeah, that's all right. You're still independent. Very easy. Yeah, trying to. This is a nice, just um, playful answer. Good one. You girls seem really nice, but do you have any bad habits? No. Drug abuse? No. no. Cigarettes? No. What the hell? Uh, alcohol. Got that's, you. That's, that's not a bad <laughs> habit. Cheers. No, no, cheers. Your liver's very happy with that. That's yeah. alright. <laughs> Got him. Bitch. Remember to night the ladies. Ladies love to give backhanded compliments. I am PU of BTW Admiral Fedora. Women love to get the backhand. I'm just kidding. Ask if she will fuck after a few drinks. Ask which of the girls is sluttier. Ask if the girl you like is a good girl. That is right, but we'll, we'll try this one. Anya, you have a really honest face. I think you couldn't tell a lie. Yeah? So answer me this. How many drinks would it take for her to fuck, do you think? Two or three? What? Four? Uh, impossible. Five? Impossible. Impossible. Not for you, my friend. Come on, how many? <laughs> just a few more and then she's like, oh, yeah, come no. to me, baby. Just shut up. No. Useless talk. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. Please, don't bother us. Okay. So she's ready now, she doesn't need any drinks. Even if I was too drunk. Yeah, what would we do, babe? It would be good. I yeah? wouldn't have sex with you. You wouldn't? What would no. you do? Blowjob? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Craig Nothing. Zero. Kiss. Zero. Zero. Touch. No. Oh, that's just boring. You girls are boring. Yeah, okay. Fine. Yeah, okay. Maybe yeah. the world's most boring girls. Yeah, <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. You Thanks. won. Bye. Mm -hmm. And that was a very good example of just, you know, not saying everything you think. <laughs> Alright. So, Anya, I, I don't know why, but I trust you. You seem very honest. So tell me, is she a good girl? Yeah, she's a nice girl and very intelligent. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> she's nice, yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, she's a good, good friend. friend. Right. He's Instead of directly friend. saying, you know, I like you, a nice way to do it is to bring the friend in and ask questions about the girl you like. I've seen this work all over the world and it's I'm the right choice. That. Well, that's good that you were honest and told me that. Ah, actually, I'm honest. Yeah. Um, I want to tell you, uh, she has a boyfriend. She has a boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, say that a girl can never have too many dicks. Well, listen, you've got a boyfriend, right? Yep. I have this philosophy of life, you know, like you can never have too much money. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Agree? And I think a girl can just never have too many dicks. So, <laughs> well, how about one what? more? No. <laughs> no, thank you. No, because you need some variety. If you no. <laughs> No, God, you, you want to try? Give it a no, touch. No, <laughs> don't touch me. Touch him. Let's just go. I call no. him Barry. Oh my God. Little Barry. <laughs> Barry. No. Little Barry. Although Barry is, you know, wonderful. <laughs> All right. Say she must be bored with him and you can have sex with her twice a week. Ask her if she's satis if he's satisfied. No. Ask if she's going to marry him. Ask why she is talking to you then. This, this is the right one. You got a boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, how long have you been together? For like a year. Oh, that's so sweet. So you're going to yeah. get married? I don't think so. I oh, don't know. Oh, no, that's really bad. Eat so that. why? What's, what's wrong with him? I don't know. We just have something. Yeah, problems. Uh, yeah. Unresolvable, yeah. interminable problems. But yeah, that's okay. I think so. I'm sure you still have some nice things in your relationship. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. You got a big true. dick. Please. Excellent, because this allows you in a smooth way uh, to find out how serious they are in the relationship. Because if they're very, very serious, you want to back off. If they're not so serious, why not keep in touch with the girl, keep her around, and who knows, one day when she's sing single... Ask if uh, he would mind you two talking. Leave because she has a boyfriend. Ask if she wants, if she thinks you could beat him up. <laughs> so your man, is he, is he, because I'm kind of thinking like, is he a tough guy or do you think I could take him in a fight? No, he's a tough guy. Yeah? yeah. What if I went, what the? <laughs> no. no. No chances. What about a little, 
elbow. Well, and you then can try. Hand, you can try, but you would just die laughing. Headbutt. Know? Headbutt. Hedgehog. <laughs> hedgehog. Well, that's good. Well, at least he'd die, and then we could be together. <laughs> no. So no. I win again. No. no. Perfect. But we're losing voice. <laughs> but no, I'm sure. I'm sure he's a very nice guy. Can yes. we make the game more interesting and pretend the blonde is Helena? Nice one would probably work. All right. Uh, well, let's let's get the Helena voice. She's got a boyfriend. I'm out of here, boys. Well, what's your boyfriend's name? Andrew. Andrew. Well, look, I respect Andrew. Okay. And so I'm just not going to talk to you. And okay. I think it's better that way. And if any men come over, you say, look, I'm Andrews. You need to go. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. But anyway, Thanks. see ya. See ya. Bye. <laughs> No, but I wanted a well, you number. Got out of there. That's one. Dude, option, I was only but... gonna get a number, you dumbass. Fucking idiot. Well, look, I don't want to disrespect your your dude. So, uh -huh. would he mind us talking? No. Like if he was watching us right now, and we were like, he would be okay. Yeah. Yeah. If we took no. selfie and he saw it, it'd be okay. Mm, yeah, I think so. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's kind of chilled. Yeah. yeah what? Yeah. The guys nice. are that's good, right? Yeah. Not too jealous. This works psychologically because you're taking away her independence. You're saying, well, would, you, would he allow you to talk to me? Like, are you allowed to do that? So she's going to want to say, of course I'm allowed. I do what I like. And, you know, our relationship's <laughs> fine. Yes, you know, I get I'm, it. I'm allowed to talk to other men. You she's not going to want to say, actually, I'm not allowed. And, you know, I shouldn't do it because he controls me and tells me exactly I get what to it. do. So it's the right option. Yeah, I get it now. Ask if they have kiss, ever kiss each other and try to get them to kiss. All right. Find out their plans for later and, what, uh, and whether they live together. Did you make any plans for later? You can go no. carry on the night. No plans. Yeah. How about tomorrow? You don't need to wake up because you're. I mean, you're not working at the moment. Yeah. And yeah. do you need to open your shop early in the morning? Or yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I, I don't really need to do anything, so I can stay out, sleeping. Yeah, in. you can. We need to get catch up <laughs> some beauty sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't need it. <laughs> exactly. This is an important step. You're finding out important logistics that will tell you how easy it is going to be later in the evening to uh, take one or both of the girls and do something with them. Do something what? Try to get both their numbers. Tell uh, the girl that you that you you'd really like to take her out and involve her friend. So just hanging out all together and take the number. Oh, that's a hard one. Try to get both their numbers. No. Tell the girl that you you like her and and involve her friend. This is the one. Involve her friend. Yes, Cassandra, she doesn't feel like it's a, a romance. Let's see. Hey, listen, look, I, to be honest, I think you're really great girls. Thanks. You seem like really good girls and you're nice to talk to and stuff. So we should definitely do something sometime. We could play squash all together. Oh, yeah. We could go to a fashion show or something because, you know, that would be fun. Oh, yeah. So okay. Ooh. why don't you, you give me your number. And okay. then we can arrange something like to meet all together. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Maybe watch a movie or something. Yeah, movies are good. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get a fake number, did I? Now, if there yes. are a couple of girls, why not take their number and suggest just meeting up again? Why do you have to be so fast and choose which one you want or, you know, try to get that one on a date? They're together right there. Maybe you suggest that you could, you guys can all go hang out again. Maybe you're going to bring your friend and you can take it a little bit slower, bring these girls into your social circle. And in the end, it probably would work out better in a lot of cases. He's okay, well, it was great speaking to you. I'll, I'll leave yeah. you guys to it. Okay. Have a nice time for the rest of the night. Yeah, have a good night. See ya. Yeah. yeah. He seems a really nice guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe you should go out. Yeah, one day. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Bitches. He's super seducer. This is the kind of PUA opinion opener. Um, it's very good in the... It what will... is it, boys? What is it, boys? Uh, I'm going to make the show a little bit shorter because I'm, I'm starving and I need to go eat, so...